up everybody so today is episode three boxing for beginners techniques uh last episode and also for those who've missed one and two you can uh the link down below in the description box so today we're going to work on more combinations more punching combinations the first set of combinations we did was one two and three that's a left jab a right cross and a left hook Okay, so I'm gonna take you through some variations of those uh, movements and then maybe add another punch or two, but it's gonna all, all be combinations. Now, we're boxing. Boxing is a chess game. It's not just fighting. When people, you have to have a really calm persona, calm head, cool heads prevail. So if you're in there, you can't be mad. You can't be, Ooh, I want to kill this guy. That doesn't work. The more calm, more calculated guy is typically the one that's going to win. Now, there are times when your aggression, you do unleash that aggression and rage. And typically that's when you see your opponent is showing that he's tired. Uh, he's showing signs of intimidation or he's hurt. That's when you kind of go in for the kill. But even then, you got to be careful. You got to be smart. So, uh... A lot of time in a fight, you're coasting. You might see what's called a pawing jab. Just paw, just boom, boom. All that's doing is getting this guy used to that jab, used to your rhythm. And then guess what? Wow, you come over with that power shot or you wop, come over with a left hook, uh, a check hook that don't, it may or may not hurt, but that's not the point. It's keeping them occupied and preoccupied for that out for that heart attack all right so we're going to get into some of those uh movements today and uh maybe a little bit of footwork all right let's do it all right so in uh episode one we worked on the one two three one two three and i emphasize on how on the three you use your body your hips your legs your feet that's what makes the punch successful with a three so now we're gonna do something a little bit different. So we're gonna throw the three, but you're not gonna put everything into it. We're gonna throw what's called a check hook, okay? It's really fast and uh, it's not really meant to, to hurt your opponent. It can hurt them though, depending on what kind of snap you get on it. But it's a decoy, it's to score points because boxing is a sport in which you score points. How you score points is by landing shots. So it's a, a quick, sneaky way to land a shot, an impressive looking shot, wow. And it keeps them preoccupied, their mind preoccupied for that heart attack, for that power shot, that, that straight right cross, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna throw the three off of the two, I mean off of the one, I'm sorry. It's not an orthodox thing to do, but it's very effective and it looks good to the judges, all right? So setting them up with the jab. Now, if you'll notice that I'm moving back and forth, you don't want to give your person a steady target, okay? You always want to be like at an angle. You don't want to be straight forward. That's a lot of target, right? You want to be moving, okay? And you want to give them different looks. Throw your punches from different looks. What that means is I might be over here, pow, throw a jab from there. I might, pow, okay? You're looking, you're seeing different openings and you're keeping them a little bit off. All right, so set them up with the jab. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw the three after the, the one, and then I'm gonna co close them with the two. All right. So you're not ready for that. Once again. All right, so. All right. Now, there's times when you're not even gonna bring his back. So, pop, pop. see that? Maybe we can slow motion. Okay, a slight jump into it. It ain't gonna hurt him. It'll daze him a little bit, but this is what's gonna hurt him. Okay, so that's the combination for today. One, three, two.
And that's it. There's multiple things you could do with the three off of the one. The three off, the, off of the one looks really impressive. You could throw a triple hook, a double hook. I'm gonna do a double hook, a one, three, three. Okay, three hook, three hooks. You can also throw the hooks from the body all the way up to the head. Multiple things you can do with it. But the three off of a one is a nasty, nasty shot, nasty combination, and it looks damn good, all right? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I look with, with Mitch, the one, three. But I'm gonna work him through it, one, two, one, two, three, and then one, three, one, three, two, all right? All right, one. One, 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 two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Good, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep that right hand up, okay? Good, two, 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 three, two, three, two, three. Keep that hand up. Good, good. Now, so the way he's doing it now is normal and is natural for the three to come right off the two. I'm gonna show you why. We're boxing is chess, so with chess, before you make a move, you gotta think about what your opponent can do, um, how you can counter that, and it goes on and on and on. With boxing is somewhat similar, so if you, throw a, if you throw a one, you're in perfect position to throw a two. Now a two, your body's already cocked to come over with that three. That's why, boom, boom. Now, people know that, but it's really hard to defend a three. And it's even harder to, def to defend a three if a three comes after a punch is not supposed to come from. So no one's expecting pop, pop. They're expecting pop. You know, they can kind of get ready for this, right? They can't, get, they, I promise you, they're not gonna be able to get ready for this three off of the one. Pop, pop. It's too fast and it's not orthodox. So one, come on, one. Back up a little too close, one. One, one, three, one, three, good, one, three, one, three, one, three, two. Let me feel that two. There you go. Good. All right, so the two, I mean, I'm sorry, the three off of the one is gonna confuse him and probably hurt him, probably daze him, but the two is gonna sit him on his butt. Okay, so today's combination, you're gonna work on throwing a three off of the one. And then once you get pretty comfortable with that, you can close the deal with a two. One, three, two, all day. Come on.